Test, test. What's up? Can they hear us now? All right. Yeah, I think we're live. Yeah, we're live. Awesome. Live game audio. Um, yeah, now we, we, we're here with uh, Kike. What's good, y'all? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, yes, they're starting Kalos because it's it's Falco versus uh, Palutena, and uh, that's what they're going to do. Yeah, definitely interesting. I didn't even know this was a start. I thought it was a counter pick. I'm pretty sure they gentlemen to it, but what do we Fair care? Enough. It's winners round one, and what does he care when them feet will fly? Well done by uh, Stokit. Also one of the, the more, like, not used Falco alts, but it's looking nice. Honestly, I think this is the coldest one. Besides uh, no. the black one, because of the fact it looked like oh. Michael Jackson's Thriller outfit. True. No, this is definitely a cold all. Yeah. But yeah, no, he was trying to set up some cold things on that side platform. It's really nasty when you. I feel like the lower, the lowest quality competitive Smash player is still probably like beating early Smash. Like the 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 meta has become so optimized that even if you're not the best at this game, you're probably pretty freaking good. True. True. I know Skull Kid's kind of lightening it up right now. Oh. Still hasn't even lost his first stock. He's playing really patiently right now, not really just running at Paulu. Yeah, I was going to say, you caught us all them just standing, staring at each other like, you going to go? <laughs> no. You going to go? Nah. Oh, sets him down. Oh, and Air Dodge is straight into him. Yeah, up air, but the DI will keep him alive. But oh, woo, what a him. call out. Yeah, he yeah, was trying he to drift no the ledge. There. Yeah, trying to drift the ledge. So, um, fresh stocks. I know oh. Kika needs to get something started. Palutena definitely can do it, but Skullhead. we got to get this opening. Man, Skullcat has been uh, capitalizing on anything that he sees, and it's mostly been uh, landing aerials have been doing wonders for him. The falling there into the up tilt, unable to find more, but honestly, the piecemeal is adding up fast, and uh, Kike not in the best position. Yeah, and I was really struggling to get these openings. He's just not falling into any like the nares or the fares that uh, Kike is throwing out. Yeah, and the patience from Skull Kid is also kind of showing it. him looking for a lot of check, tech chases and uh, just reset opportunities. Yeah. Uh oh, but oh, he can't. Oh, smash. Not, oh, I was going to say nah, that. He, he believed in that like Trump believed he was going to win the presidency. Oh, God, That's crazy. Bro, he's going to have back here. Throwing it back. Woo, okay, but finally, Kike's starting to respond with, like, Skull Kid landing on his shield so often as, you know, Falcos have to do. Up air? No. Oh, yeah. Great DI, actually. Just doesn't even fall into anything. Mm. All right. Kike still keeping up a pretty good fight. I think the adaptation here is really commendable from Kike because uh, not out of this yet. And on 116, trying to call out a double oh, jump. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, eating the roll. Like I said, Kike starting to put himself into this game. It just took a little bit of time, but he woke up, I think. Yeah, this is an undoable. That up air not gonna kill again. We are on Kalos. Yeah. However, those side blast phones, they're not gonna save your life, but oh, great no. teleport. Okay. This ledge trap, you gotta make it count. Ah, uh, the weak hit of the uh, back air. The teleport to ledge. He's getting a lot of chances right now. His, yo, his defense is going wild right now. Agreed. Uh, never mind. <laughs> yeah. And a good DI oh, there. Doesn't die from the up throw in. Look at Kike just keeping a keeping a belief. This dude is living. This man, it must be related to Journey, unfortunately. Oh, that was, uh, that's probably not what he wanted. Probably wanted like a teleport and going left. Unfortunately, got the explosive flame, but Kike put up a really good defense right there. And like we saw, Skull Kid was a usually defensive player, so when he was forced to go on the offense, he yeah. really wasn't getting caught a lot. Kike was almost able to bring that back. I don't know if he had headphones on, but all I heard was, Don't stop believing. He was living, bro. <laughs> Hold on to their feelings. Um, yeah, so game number two, I also think the, the counter big stage would help. A little bit less space between him and Skull Kid, I think, would do wonders for Kike. In terms of his Palutena, he was throwing out a couple of explosive lanes, trying to zone, but he seemed to get the most out of the interactions when he was forcing them, and he wasn't letting Skull Kid set up or be too patient, you know, kind of rushing him down. Absolutely. I think uh, I think Kike actually took your advice on game two. We're going to be looking at Smash Roll. Okay, okay, that top. Platform, obviously, there's going to be some uh, tech situations with Nair. Like, the Nair string's got to be on point. And if they are, it's an easy 40%. Yeah. Here we go. Sorry, I'm, I'm assuming both these characters love it. So let's see how this, uh, let's see how this next game goes. I'll be starting off with it better. Yeah. Let's see how this right. Oh, but look how he called out that tech roll back. Got some lasers. Kike putting himself back in center stage. And there's the Nair. I like the sharking the platform with aerials. 
Oh, the double jump down there didn't get something started. And wow, I gotta commend Skullkid. He's so patient uh, when it comes to punishing these options that uh, Kike has been throwing out. Yeah, for sure. And we've seen Skullkid actually like read the teleport to center stage a couple times, but he's been going for like a lot of dash grabs, and it's just not been landing. Wow. TK is living though. He is not dying. Yeah, I mean, as you said, his defensive play, uh, really, really impressive. And um, the patience is, I think it could pay off a little bit more in this game. Because um, it's not defense that wins, it's offense, uh, unfortunately. So he's going to have to put some damage on board. Yeah. Oh, maybe he can find another uh, roll read with an F smash, but we'll see. Yeah, and at this point, if I'm a, oh wow, finally, like you said, shows out that offense, finally gets out of the top of the last zone. 75%, not too bad, but PK needs to find these openings, needs to find the groove. Uh, that's Gold Kid is going for right now. Yeah, I want to point out that up tilt that uh, KK did after the Inair. This is a this is a guy that's just naturally really good at Smash that doesn't know necessarily all the confirms or all of the things, the percentages set up that his character has. Yeah. At least as much as Skull Kid, who's been going for a lot of the common common options, up throw, up air, you know. Falco B and B's, baby. Yeah, all the B and B's that matter. And oh, wow. can't kick that. Yeah, great stuff from KK. Finally getting a, a killing uh, explosive flame with a very quick tea bag to let you know I'm steeping, baby. What? <laughs> all right. Let the ignorance rock. Come on now. Let the bodies hit the floor. Uh oh. Oh, yo, huge. The 30% yeah. kill? Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the odder things have been seen in this game for sure. True. Right now. Uh, what odd. <laughs> what odd is this offense right now that Skull Kid is putting out? Again, yeah, just missing that dash grab, but the way that uh, Skull Kid is playing, he does not need it. He is going off right now. Yeah, and still technically even, but tries to, tries to roll back. A lot of rolls from Kike and. The patience that uh, Skull Kid has means that eventually he's going to pick up on you know some of these habits. Yeah, true. I guess to TK's credit, he hasn't really been punished for. But that was a great roll, actually. Oh, but a down. Oh no! Yo, what? Like, why did he just randomly turn up like that? That was crazy. That was. <laughs> that was wild, bro. <laughs> he randomly just like, oh yeah, dare to F smash. Like what? Bro, like I literally, if he held that F smash for like another second, I would have killed. That would have been death. Like it's really. Why just randomly even again, bro? I love Paul Chena. Wait, Wait a minute. minute! Wow, there's Kike. Okay, quick pop off. And here, and here we're talking about that defensive play from Kike has been so good. He lived that, and now he's getting the benefit of Palutena with Rage, who is a scary stripper bitch. But never mind. <laughs> there's no way to speak to a goddess. I mean, uh, you know, in what religion? Uh, All true. right. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, and I, he had the right idea there, you know, just went for a full height. Right. Yeah. I mean, and there's a nerve thing that comes with it. Like I said, you don't get comfortable doing, like, your, your dares off stage and whatnot until you know you can recover from putting yourself off stage in that situation. True. But I right. love how Kike has gotten himself back in this game. Kike, this is the Kike show right now, but he does need to get opened up because we've seen every time Skull Kick gets that opening, bro, he takes, he takes the Falco tag. Yeah, and wow, just uh, kind of being aggressive, but man, you can't get out of the blender once Falco puts you in it. Didn't, his, didn't his, order a smoothie, but sure he's getting it right now. On God, his last name is Nutribullet. <laughs> good fares, good fares, and this ledge trapping here from, from Skullkin, all this pressure. He can need to get back to stage. Oh, oh! oh! oh we know he's dead. Oh, damn, and you know what? I, I admire it, but once again, that's 